here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 Spielberg on the channel and today today I decided that I'm gonna try and show you and EA probably how you really supposed to throw a party for love because uh, if, if you know what I'm talking about you probably saw the previous or the latest news that they shared with us on the media they shared uh, that they're planning to release some game packs, some um, some new kits, some new stuff. Uh, and, and there is some some sort of a cons conspiracy on, on the net that it's something re related to a marriage and getting hitched and stuff like that. And I decided that I'm going to show you how you're supposed to do that with this, some sort of a bridal uh, dresses saloon, something like that. And, and yeah, that's what we are going to do today. And this is going to be something very fancy with a lot of gold and white and wood and, and all the good stuff. All the good stuff you're going to see uh, in, in this build. And I decided that, yeah, you know, this is the way. This is the way to throw a party for love. Uh, you know, to, to get married with the, someone that you love in in-game and outside of the game. And that's what we're going to do today. I decided I'm going to build... For you, um, some sort of uh, yeah, that's the, that's the thing. The place where the bride to be is uh, getting prepared for for her day of, of of wedding. So it will be fully functional. You will be able to bring your Sims that is about to get married to a bridal um, uh, like dresses pick pick up or something like that. Or, or uh, basically, this is gonna be the heaven for uh for the uh, bride to be she will be able or he will be able if, if that's the way you play the game um they will be able to come over here pick a dress and do all the measurements and get a their nails done and get a haircut and buy their um dress to to the uh to to the wedding and but but yeah you need to take in account that my focus over here was about white dresses just like you know for bride to be <laughs> i don't really know how to describe it better than this um but uh but yeah so this is what we are doing today and this is the way to show how you throw a party for love ea take notes and uh, and yeah. By the way, people, what do you think about all of the the latest news that we receive regarding uh, some things that they are gonna bring into the game? One of the things is gonna be a game pack, which honestly, I think is the best uh, out of all of the things that they said that they're gonna bring. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think it's gonna be something related to wedding. I think the whole community thinks it's gonna be something related to weddings. Um, getting hitched and, and all the uh, all the thing and and that's exactly what we are doing here today we we are getting prepared for that game pack and um in a bit i'm gonna explain to you a bit more about the bill and how much it how much how much it cost and, and everything and you know what by the way right now you can see that i decided i don't want to build um that that saloon over here like on the whole lot i decided it's gonna be part of the lot and that I'm going to spice things up a bit with some um, debug buildings and um, some decoration. By the way, you're going to see me even putting my focus even on those um, ghost items like the building that I just placed. And I'm even going to try to decorate them a bit so it will look a bit more realistic. You know me, I'm not, I'm not doing things halfway done. I'm going all the way... Um, so yeah, there are a lot of things to see in this build, and I really hope that you're going to enjoy it. But again, where was I? Oh, so what I'm actually looking for the most is the game pack, and that's where here today preparing for it. And uh, they said that they're going to release two kits, which one of them I think they already teased, something about sassy or fierce design, something like that. Um, I'm not into it. 
I honestly, I'm not into it. I think that most of the community is not into it. I, I cannot speak for other people than myself. By the way, people, if you do that on 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 media and on on the internet, stop it. Don't, don't talk about things that you don't like, like the whole community don't like it. You can talk about it about yourself, but but don't 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 speak for someone else. Okay, so I'm not into it, but. The, as far as I see on on the net, many of the community really also not into the those kits. I don't know if it's it, it's just the um, like those kits with the uh, men's clothing. I know I know it was a bit problem uh, and like for some people and the fierce design. People are not really into it, and maybe it's it's the the, the closing kits that people are not really into them but uh but let me know what do you think about them uh what do you think about those kits are you happy with them i i already said that the kits in my mind the whole idea of kits some of them are really nice i really love them especially those with the items that you can build with um but many of the kits that we do have i i you know what i think they came too late i i said that already but i i stand uh, behind my my um, statement, I think they came a bit too late. This is something that could have been amazing, could have been really awesome to have them at the beginning of the game. They should have been here when the game just launched, not eight years later. I think it's too late for them to be out. Um, and something that, like another thing that someone said, I noticed that they're like kind of saying goodbye to the uh, staff packs because it's like it seems like the Sims are picking between game packs and kits, and we're not getting staff packs, which is something like in between. And so, so yeah, let, let me know what do you think. What are you are waiting the most from all those things that they uh, said that they're gonna bring into the game? Um, I'm really curious to know what do you think. I noticed like some of the things that people said on on like Twitter and on Instagram and, and places like that. But uh, I honestly want to know what do you guys uh, think. So let me know in the comment section down below. And as you can see, we are already inside of the build, and I said it that I'm trying to make it. It's going to be a lot of white, but there are going to be some places in the build that are not going to be just white. Um, you're gonna have in like an arch, like balloon arch. I made it. Yeah, just just wait for it. And you know what? I think it's 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 a great time to to start talking about some numbers, just like always, and some information about the build. So we are in Del Sol Valley in a 30 by 30 lot. Now I do believe that I built something on this lot, like before. There is a good chance that I did because um, you know I, I just noticed that I am publishing my 181 video today. So yeah, I've already built somewhere around 160 builds and share with you. <laughs> so probably I built something over here already. And right now you can see me creating the mannequins areas and, and you already see the, the, uh, the dresses that I used for them. And I'll get to that later on because I, I do know that there are some problems with the mannequins, but later on we're gonna talk about this. But um, so where was I? 30 on 30 uh, on Delso Valley. And the build itself, you can play it by two ways, just like always, you know, it, it is playable. And unlike my previous build where I had a lot of troubles, I don't know, I still don't know what went wrong with the hibachi cooking uh, build that I made. Um, this build, fully functional, it is working great, you can make money out of it. Um, now, the thing is this, it is not cheap to buy because of those, those a lot of gold stuff and things that are happening here. Those lighting units are really expensive. I think each one of them is like a few thousand uh, simoleons and the mannequins themselves are, are kind of expensive. So this build is not, ex not, is not expensive. It's really expensive to buy if you want to be the owner of it. However, it is super fun to play. Now you don't need to have employees in here because you're basically just selling the um, the dresses on the mannequins. So um, so you don't really need anyone else. You can run it by yourself. Um, and if you want to buy it, you're gonna need to uh, invest two hundred thousand simoleons. Now, fun fact: I think I think that the um, the lot itself is quite expensive. Not 
as much as the bill, but the lot itself is like, I think, 8,000 or one, uh, like, like 10,000 simoleons, something like that. So, so yeah, you, you can save just a bit if, if you're going to place it in somewhere else. But uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be costing you 200,000 simoleons to purchase it, purchase it, purchase it if you are going to be the owner of it. But uh, just as always, you can uh, also just purchase it with a sims that you're not going to play, open it, put the price tags on and just leave it be and bring your sim over here to do some shoppings. And you can have the whole experience of bringing your sims over here, uh, try, do some try-ons on, on, the, um, on, on the dresses and pick your favorite. Now, there are going to be a few more things in this build just that I... Just as I told you, it's not going to be only the dresses. You're going to have an area over here where someone can give you a haircut and someone can do your nails and you're going to have another... Like the whole build itself is separated to two uh, like stories. The, the bottom one is basically where you can see the mannequins, you can see the, uh, the windows and, and all, the, uh, all the dresses from outside and you're going to have the some sort of a place to uh, to hang out with your friends when when you're going to uh, to to do your business over here now and I gotta tell you I never been to one um, like I've been to one only one time but most of of my ideas came from references on the internet when I uh, search for uh, bridal saloon or something like that and uh so, so don't kill me okay i do know that many of you here are women and you probably know how it looks <laughs> in real life and i hope that i managed to to hit that spot and 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 capture the picture of how it's supposed to look like so uh yeah and uh, by the way we can see right now that uh, i placed that uh, uh, those cameras and, and the um, the bipods for the cameras. This is supposed to be where the um, photographer and his team are organizing themselves um, to get ready to, to the shootings and stuff like that. So yeah, there are a lot of uh, a lot of details over here. And if you notice, there was even some sort of a casing or cases um, on on the ground. I gotta tell you, I have no idea where I found them. I found them only one time in my life. <laughs> in the game, in the debug section, and I saved it in a one by one room and now I'm using it. You cannot even duplicate it um, with with the um, with that weird thing on top. I don't remember, with the duplicating tool. You cannot use that. You can use only the tool to duplicate it. So, so yeah. Anyway, you can see that we are getting forward in the building and we are creating another zone which will contain i believe the uh the bar where the the, the group of people who are uh, um going and escorting the bride to be coming with her or with him um and hanging out with them uh while they are doing their uh well dress shopping so <laughs> so uh so yeah I, I really love how this build came out and wait a minute oh yeah so this build will be f like separated to two the first floor is what i just described to you and the second floor is going to be more for the bride and for the owner there's going to be a kneading area over there for the the like the owner to do those um small tweaks and changes and fixes to the dress and they're going to be also a restroom. Yes, like always, people, I'm not going to show you. Maybe I will. I don't remember. You know, I think I think it's my trademark not showing you the, the restroom <laughs> when I'm building because I, I just don't think there is a good reason. Most of my restrooms are kind of dull and boring and they're, they're nice, but they're not amazing. They're, there is no good reason to show you them. Um, I think it's going to be my trademark. You, you enjoy the build, you see me building something really awesome and I'm not showing you the the restroom. <laughs> the restroom. Anyway, so so yeah, this is supposed to be the um, the most expensive or the most beautiful dress display area. I don't think that Sims can actually reach it. I, honestly, I don't think. Uh, but I think it's worth it. I, at all time, in your build, I think you can ho have only like nine mannequins so 
if you just spare one to to be over here, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and yet it does add to the, the build itself something really unique and it, it creates some sort of an atmosphere over here for fancy, uh, fancy dress shopping and, 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 and you, know, you know, it just look good. Sometimes when you're building, you don't need to have all the things in your build functioning. Some of them are supposed to be over there just to create some sort of an environment. And you can see that I, I placed over there um, the effecting machine. So you can, on top of this one, you can like activate the effect and drop some sparkles and, and confettis and whatever you want, just to make it a bit more party uh, vibe or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. And Oh, and right now you can see me creating the arch of balloons, which will be in two places, I want to say, or three places. I don't really remember, but uh, it's really, really awesome. So I, I placed it on the wall and then I used the tool mode to move it around. And fun fact, I actually did some sort of a mistake when I placed it on the first floor and then I used the tool mode to copy it to the second floor. But what happened is that when I played on the first floor, I still could see the upper floor uh, balloon arch. So so I had to, to, to fix that basically by creating it again on the second floor. So yeah, I just saved you the time. Don't, don't worry. Um, so so uh, we are getting closer to the um, end of the first floor creation. And you're going to see th this area right here is actually supposed to be for the bridesmaids, uh, where they getting ready uh, for, uh, for, with their um, dresses. And on the other side of the room, you will have a place where they can get their hair done. So it is, at the end, really the perfect place for brides to be to get their, um, their things ready before the wedding to get their dress, to get their hair done, to get their nails. This is the ultimate place for them to, to do that. So I really hope that you're gonna find this build uh, um, fun to play and enjoyable. And by the way, if you are enjoying my builds, I will really appreciate it if you can hit the like button. And if you are new here, subscribe because you're gonna get many more builds just like this and even more awesome um, over the uh, upcoming uh, year. By the way, if you missed my uh, two previous builds, you definitely want to go check them out. I created a, what was the first, I think the first one I created on 2022 was the, yeah, the ball drop um, nightclub, something really, really awesome. Go and check that out if you are into partying with your sim. Now, I promised you that I will explain a bit more regarding the mannequins. Now, right now in the game, there's some sort of a bug with them. I don't know why, but you just... Sometimes when you're trying to download something from the gallery and put it in the game, the mannequins are kind of crashing the lot. So you cannot really visit the lot or the lot will not really load or something like that. And because of that, I, I, I do know that it's a thing. I'm aware of it. Just for the purpose of this video, I just showed you where I place the mannequins. Now, what I will do, because not, not all of you are going to see this video, but you're going to like... Okay, that, that, that came out wrong. It's not that all of you are not going to see this video. All of you are going to see this video because we are, you are watching right now, but not all the people who are going to download it on my gallery are going to watch this video. Okay, that is what I meant. Now, because of that, I will leave like marks that you cannot really miss where the mannequins are supposed to be, and I will, I will just let people know in the bio at the, uh, at the uh, gallery where you are uh, supposed to put the mannequins back. But because you are watching this video, you can see exactly where I place them. So just make sure to, uh, to follow where I place them. It's not really, you know, rocket science to know where I place them. I place them near the windows and in the display areas that I made. By the way, those display area for the mannequins are fully reachable for the sims. The only one that is not is the one with the um, where the uh, bar is. That's the only one that isn't. Uh, so don't worry. Oh, and by the way, this is very important. This is very important. Um, you can see me placing now some frames that are dark, where basically you don't have any anything in it. Those are just for indications for you people. You need to, because again, there is some sort of a bug in the game that we cannot really upload 
pictures because it will mark it as CC. I will really be happy if it will be fixed someday. EA, please, thank you. So right now, if you are uploading them, uh, like some some pictures to the gallery in your builds, it will mark it as CC, and I don't want it to be marked as CC. So I just placed those frames over there for you people to uh, know where to place your pictures. Yeah, you're gonna need to bring your sim if he is he or okay. If they are in high level of like photography, they can take a picture of the brides and you can place them and arrange them on that wall just the way I place those frames. So it's some sort of an indication for you how to how to do that. Okay, that was the whole idea of those uh, frames on the wall. Now, um, right now you can see that we are creating the uh, room for the owner, the one who fix the dresses and, and make them be the right size and, and do the whole thing and they are needing, basically, they're not really needing, right? It's not needing, it's like, I don't know how, how you're supposed to call that, but they are doing those um, tweaks and changes to the dress so it will fit the bride-to-be. So this is the room for them to do that. And um, like a few minutes ago, you, you noticed, you, you saw that, that, that I did share with you some of the, uh, of the restroom. So do, don't cry now that we don't have a restroom. We always have restrooms on my build. Uh, I'm proud of it, that I'm actually making restroom on each one of my builds. And you can see that I created some sort of a measurement uh, mannequin on, on the pole over there. I really love that also. Um, and, and, and you know, this is the whole idea. I'm, I'm trying to, to show you that you don't need to have CCs in the, in the game in order to create something really cool. And right now you can see me creating that arch that kind of went rogue on me and stayed up when I played on the first floor. So I had to fix it. Um, and in about a few seconds, yeah, nailed it. You saw that? That was perfectly timed. Um, we are now creating the, the area for the bride. Okay, now this is supposed to be a bit more private. So you're gonna have only one zone for, uh, for, um, for the nails done, for pedicure, manicure, and you're gonna have another chair for the hair. And you're gonna have, on the other side, you're gonna have a private area for the dress um, measurements, uh, changes, tweaks, and, and all, all the things that, that the, uh, you know, the owner is supposed to do to, to, to the bride when they are fixing the, the dress so it will fit. So uh, the, I don't know, how do you supposed to call that? Again, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not the guy who, I'm not the person who's supposed to be in those places. Sorry, people, I really don't know <laughs> how you're supposed to call those uh, things. Anyway, anyway, I really hope that you're going to have a lot of fun playing uh, this build because I invested a lot of time researching. I searched the, the net for, for some um, inspirations and some pictures so I will have a clue what to do. And I think this is the way to celebrate and throw a party of love. Um, so we are getting ready for that pack and I really hope that you're going to have a lot of fun uh, time playing this build. Um, and you know what? Just let me know what you think. Did I manage to hit that um, that spot and, and create it? Uh, do, do you think I went overboard? Maybe it's not really like something from real life. And just remember that it really depends where you live. Because at the end, I did do that build from reference. So it's it's not, it's not like fully from reference, but it's the idea and, and, and the inspirations are from reference. It's It's not totally from my brain. Now, one thing is kind of missing from the overall design of the lot and its car uh, parking spot. But although the, there is like some space over there that I could have created something like that, the place that I built it is right next to a big car parking spot. You can even see it in the background when I'm building right now. Um, so I decided I'm not going to include it. And to be honest, I still have my beliefs that maybe we will get cars in the game someday. Although I don't think it can really work um, if the cars, like, if it's not really an open world. So I still hope it will happen one day. Pray with me for that. And, uh, and yeah, so we don't have a car parking spot in this lot. 
Uh, but just uh, imagine, imagine we used to, we, we're getting used to imagine things in the game because a lot of things are not being really added to the game. It seems that they are more adding things that they want other than things that the community asks for. And uh, I just see many polls for the things that the community asks for. And, and those things are not, you know, served to us or, or fulfilled in, in, in the game. So, yeah. We are getting closer to the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoy this video. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new here. If you want to get this build in your game, you can find it on my gallery under RGR Gaming. Uh, make sure to, to write this one. It's still not Architect. I could not really change it that easily. So yeah, you can find it on the gallery under RGR Gaming. And uh, trade files for the correct version for 30 days only in the description down below, people. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the tour and I'll see you again next time. Until the next time, keep that same party going for me because Architect is a signing up. Music bumping, we just keep on rolling Uh, yeah No, we never stop Shake, shake, shake your heart into the morning Uh, mmm Let me hear you say I'm ready I'm ready Uh-huh, come on Now slide, slide, slide to the bar Shine, shine, shine like a star Let me hear you say I'm ready I'm ready Uh-huh, come on Now slide Shine, shine, shine